What are you doing? Oh, what the? Follow me. Chris is taking the bowling ball up the scaffold. That's it. I'm gonna chuck it. Oh. <gasps> What's up guys, today we're gonna be seeing who can build the strongest unbreakable cube. So the rules are the max size it can be is two by two by two and your phone also has to be able to fit inside of it. After the boxes are built, we will be giving our box to the player to the right and then they will be trying to break into it. And if you can't break into it, you don't get your phone back. We're throwing it in the dumpster. The order in which each box is broken determines whose box is the strongest and whose box is the weakest. Tripping. What was the second part? So we're gonna go to the store first, grab our supplies, come back, build them, and then we're gonna be switching our boxes and going ham! Let's get Billy. What do you want? Okay, so we're at Home Depot, and if I'm honest, I, I really don't have an idea for my design. I'm just gonna kind of walk around the store, just kind of look at stuff, and uh, see how we can build the strongest box possible. There's some nice metal brackets over here. Let's go check them out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One thing for sure is we need metal. Lots and lots of metal. So I got this big thing of metal. I've never seen this here before. I don't know how I haven't seen this. So I found some supports for my cube. We got these metal things and I, I could put bolts in here, but I'm gonna have to cut these a little bit smaller. Guys, okay, so I have these small pieces of plywood. This one's pretty thick and I found this medium density thick stuff. I think it's super strong. And we're just gonna try to reinforce it with metal brackets and as many strong materials as possible. You think this is strong? Just kidding. Eat it. If you can okay, break. it's strong. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna put a safe in it. Wait, let me punch it. Wow. Chris, you know I'm gonna put a safe inside my unbreakable box? We've broken into safes before. Just saying. Good luck. So recap on my items. I'm gonna be using two by fours and plywood for the structure of it. And then after that, I bought these metal plates, which I'm gonna be bolting in. Then I have these uh, brackets. I'm gonna be bolting onto the sides and the corners. Ryan, whose box do you think is gonna be stronger? Uh. Oh, crap. Probably Rob's. Jeff just dropped his nuts. <laughs> Jeff just dropped it. We are back home with all of our supplies. Now we need to determine whose phone goes in whose box because you got to put your phone in someone else's box. And then you break into your the box with your phone. And if you can't get your phone, then the box is dumped into the trailer. And guess what? That thing's going to dump. So your phone is gone. You have to buy a new one. So I'm going to throw this block. If the red is up, we'll pass the phones to the left. If it goes without red up, you pass to the right. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Everyone get their phones out. Here's my phone. Okay. I'm going to flip the block. Are you ready? What the heck? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Where'd it go? Jeff, look what you did. You lost the block. Because you're a blockhead. I think it's in this bush. It's, it's red. Just... What? Pass it to the left. No. Oh, it's you're right. It's right red. here. You're right. Okay, so we have to pass it to the left. So, Robert, you get my phone. I, Chris Rob... gets my phone and Chris... Jeff's yeah, I, phone, Chris's phone, Jeff gets Chris's phone. Chris is going to break my box. Rob is going to break... Chris's... No, I'm going to break Rob's box. Ro I'm breaking Chris's box. Right. This is confusing. No, no, no. They get, it, they get it. They get it. They get it. Let's get buildy. Okay, so first we need to bubble wrap Chris's phone in some very thick wrap. So we're going to just bundle this thing up really well. Then we're going to try to stuff it into my box. But we're going to need a lot of this stuff in order to make this work. I don't want Chris's phone to break on accident. I would hope that they give me the same courtesy. You know what? I think I got to wrap this better because my box is actually going to be really small. Because I want to make it small and dense because that's like more strong. This is going to be difficult. Well, first I'm going to start with making the bottom of my box and see if we can like somehow just barely just get it in there. So we're using these bolts to connect everything. Okay. So first we first we got to disconnect these four brackets here. Guys, if we can actually successfully do mine, I think it's going to just blow all the competition out of the water because this is some thick metal with some thick bolts. Okay, now I just got to tighten these off really tight. So we have this wrenchy poo. Very fancy. Getting all these bolts tight is going to be a squeeze because once this thing is enclosed, it's going to be hard to tighten everything. I got a couple more bolts to tighten and then we can turn any more brackets. Hi, Rob. Hey Ryan, so right now I'm uh, wrapping up Jeff's phone. So I'm making a one foot by one foot by one foot uh, box. I think this is pretty good. I hope Chris wraps my phone up pretty nicely as well. Ryan, who do you think? Did we already ask you this question? Who, mm -hmm. uh, who you think is gonna win? Yeah. Can you say again? I don't remember. Probably Rob's. <laughs> Dude, this looks like some C4. <laughs> Ryan, 
But anyways, we're gonna head over to the cut station and then work on our structure. Um, after this is done, we're gonna put Chris's phone in and then we have metal to wrap around it. We got these brackets and I think it's gonna be a pretty strong box. Oh, hiya. Hi, Chris. Um, okay. <laughs> A lot of people always make noise when I gotta talk. So I got Jeffrey's phone right here, and if I make my box this big, this is Robert's phone. <laughs> so if I make my box this big, then his phone will fit in there. So I'm gonna basically make a wall, like each wall out of these and I'll be able to drill holes through everything and put some nice strong bolts on there. I got these, which will go all the way through and really strengthen this box. Honestly, I think this box is gonna be pretty dang strong and uh, Rob won't be able to break through it with any measly weapon. So I gotta use this thing. It's a little bit dangy. Ryan, you might want safety glasses. <laughs> okay, safety glasses. Here we go. That's why I'm standing all the way over here. One down. So I'm gonna stack it like this, and then these bars are just gonna go through there like that, and just kinda like really reinforce this. So that's kind of essentially the basic design, and uh, we'll see if it works. So, guys, as you can see, Chris's phone is not fitting very well in my box. I hope that I can get this thing to be more in here because this is unfortunate. But I may not be able to use all my brackets that I wanted to. I may yeah. just have to be something like this because yeah. like, the bolt will go into the phone like that. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. No more crying. Only action. So my, my final idea was to like put this like this, as you guys can see. And I might be able to do it, but I don't know how the heck I'm gonna really get this on tight. And look at the holes don't even line up very well. So it's like, what do I do? Ryan, do you like what you see right now? Yeah. You think this is pretty good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think I'm gonna be the most successful out of all of them? Yeah. You really think so? Mm -hmm. Probably Rob's. Good. I mean, this is thick, dude. Like, there's no getting this. If I can get this totally sealed tight, there's no breaking this thing open, dude. Hi, Rob. Hey, Ryan. So uh, I, I heard, um, how do you think Jeff's gonna win? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe all you guys will win and you'll all have to throw away your phone. Dude, that would suck, dude. I got a lot of memories on my phone. Back it up, bro. Oh, sh well, I can't anymore. Which is a, a big rip in the chat, if you ask me. And uh, if you guys are generous, press F to pay respects. Hey Chris, check out my box. How do you feel that your phone is in this monstrosity? How did you do that? Dude, <laughs> dude that's thick metal. You're not getting your phone, dude. dude that's, that's why I wanted the block to land on red, so I wouldn't have to have my phone in this death Cause trap. look out, look at this. This is steel with steel bolts. This thing is hecka strong. Dude, right. Chris, good luck, dude. You need a new phone tomorrow. So you can see that my cube is, is starting to form. We got these really solid metal bars that are gonna make the structure of the box. I got a lot of cutting to do, so I might be cutting for a while. You look like you're building some kind of like crazy fighter robot over here, a battle bot. The box is gonna fight back. <laughs> How goes it? Pretty good. We're uh, finishing the frame of the box, and then um, I'll show you. We're leaving this side open, because then that's where Chris's phone's gonna go. Boom, right in there. But oh, at this point, I don't even know whose phone I have. It's so hot, guys. I've gotten all my bolts on. I'm just tightening them all. It's not gonna be perfectly like like square. Cause as you can see, like it's kind of crooked. Um, it's just because Chris's phone has been making it difficult for me to get it on straight and like locked in. So I don't know, but I, th I still think it's gonna be really strong. So every side there's plywood on in there now. So now here goes Jeff's phone. Never just be seen again. Right Jeff? I don't think so. Guys, that is a box. Once this is done, we have these metal sheets that are gonna be followed by these metal brackets. It's gonna make it super strong. Does this remind you of the uh, the Cuban Transformers? Oh, oh, the Shia LaBeouf days, yeah. Yeah, is. except for it's not blue, doesn't glow blue. What do they call it, the Tesseract or something? Right? Dude, we don't, we don't know our Transformers very well. We should look it up. Hey Siri! Hey Siri! Help me, I am trapped in this box. Guys, we don't have any phones to look anything up, but guys, I think my cube is complete. All these bolts are on as tight as I could possibly get them. Chris, yeah. check out your box, dude. I like how you say, come check this out, but you come here. That's true. Pick that thing out. That is, Chris, pick it up. Look how solid that is. No way. <laughs> this is cool. This looks like really hey, interesting. Go touch it. 
I'm just looking at it. Well, I'm done with my box. I already see a weakness. Shut up. No, you don't. There you go. You're not kidding. You think I'm bluffing? Chris. Call me on my bluff. Then what's the weakness? I ain't telling you. I'm just gonna wait and see you cry when I open it. I ain't worried. So you almost done with your box, Chris? No, we gotta add like 20 layers of metal. Cause I see one, I see many weaknesses with yours. Oh yeah. Dude, you're, <laughs> I'm not even done yet, dude. I do though. You're just trying to make me feel bad, huh? Nope. Anyways, uh, I decided I'm not gonna put the uh, metal sheet on top. I'm just gonna try and make it so that Robert can't squeeze the phone through. Guys, it's been like an hour since I finished. Rob and Chris are still working on their boxes. I may or not may not have drilled through Robert's phone. Dude, Ooh. are you serious? Chris! <laughs> <gasps> Did you do it? I don't think so. Oh, I think it's fine. I think it just went through the, the tape. Chris, Wait, you have to be boy. more careful. Dude, that was actually really close. All right, let's go check on Robert's box. Roberto, dude, your box actually looks cool. You got these metal plates and these metal brackets, and it actually looks pretty neat. I still think my box is the strongest. Let's mess with Chris. <laughs> While he's building, follow me, follow me. Where are the whipple balls? Dude, I don't know. Chris, where's the GoPro? Right here. It died up. What are you up to? Oh. I don't know what to do with myself. All because you don't have your phone? You're right. This is this is sad. This is sad. I can live without it. I don't need my phone. I'm gonna pop these tiny balloons. I can't hit it one. Still missed. Was your box finished? Yeah, my box is finished. Dang! So, my name for this one is Battle Box. Cause it looks like a battle robot. Come look at the box your phone is in, bro. I gotta figure out my my box. I'm calling this eggshell. Why, cause it'll break easily? Like No, it's, a, it's, an, it's an ironic satirical name because it ain't gonna break like an eggshell. Dude, yours sounds like, like a janky aluminum can. Good luck, Chris! Oh. Hey, my phone's in there. Oh. It's not even been bubble wrap anymore. Are you serious? Because the drill took the bubble wrap off. Dude, look at what, dude. He can just pull his phone out. No. You done go. It barely doesn't come out. Well, you're lucky. Just shove that in there. So it's time to name my box. Uh, I'm gonna name it the Metal Mario Block. Oh, okay. I like it. I see it, it Bob. looks like a Metal Mario Block. Aesthetically, I like yours the most. I think mine oh. looks the ugliest, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You got all these like doohickeys just sticking out, and but I mean this part's cool. This part's generally I mean, pretty cool. One thing for sure is you wouldn't want that thrown at your face. So I'm breaking out of this box. Um, honestly, first thoughts, I think I'm gonna be able to get out. Robert, Robert's breaking out of this box, Rob. Do you think you're getting out, getting your phone out of this thing? With the right tool, yes. And Chris, you're gonna break out of my, uh, block of steel. That's, dude, all, that's my new name for it, block of steel. I don't even know, dude. The one funny thing about mine, Chris, is it's so Compact. confined and, and the bolts are like pressing up against it. If you smash in the wrong way, it's gonna break your phone. Dude. Oh my gosh, dude. It's, it's hard. so tightly in there that like if you jam it in, it's gonna like cause the bolt to get jabbed into the phone. I think I need to go like for the bolt itself. If I get an ax and I hit it right here, maybe. Yeah, and you have, guess what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 16 bolts to get through. So comment down below two things. Which box is your favorite and which box do you think is the strongest? We're gonna be using the wheel to determine what weapon we use. So every three minutes we get a spin again. Right, Jeff? Right. Uh, should I spin first? All right, spin first. Let's see what Robert gets. My first weapon is a machete. Here you go, Rob. Right, I'm gonna spin for my Whoa. weapon. Boom. Let's see what I get. Death lollipop. That's Dude. the weapon that you made. Dude, I hate that weapon. Okay, my turn. Mallet. 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 Okay, so Chris, okay. Chris, this is your weapon. Not bad, not bad. This is my weapon. It's time to begin destruction. Three, two, one, go. Dude. Oh no. Dude, the just, box! No! This is not good. 
Guys, by the way, there's a you get a point if you can get the phone out. You get another point for whoever breaks out the quickest. Dude, look at these. I'm I'm bending them. I'm bending these giant screws. <laughs> Are we blacksmiths yet? Look at this. Who's working? Someone's working. Keep going. I'm damaging the metal a lot. Alright, stop! Stop, stop, stop! What? Stop. Oh. Dude, this is tiring already. My next weapon! Anything you want! What? Yeah. Find my turn! I'm tired. Me too. What do I get? This is so tiring. Oh, I get the mallet! No! Mallet. Dude, I was making good work with that. Okay, Chris, we gotta give the mallet up. The bowling ball! The bowling oh, ball! Shoot. Guys, look at all this damage I'm doing! Where'd Chris go? What are you doing? Oh, what the? Follow me. Chris is taking the bowling ball up the scaffold. That's it. I'm gonna chuck it. Oh! <gasps> that did not sound good. I don't think it did much. Look at the caveman. <laughs> dude, this box is so strong. I told you. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Dude, the screw is going straight into my phone. Oh. What if my phone is ruined already? Okay, I just gotta break the screws off because if I try and hit the metal in, it's gonna ruin my phone for sure if it hasn't already. Robert's breaking the screws with the bowl cutter. You better be quick, Rob, because the time's running out. We're gonna break it right at the nut. <laughs> Rob, I think no. you're gonna get out first. That's pretty OP. All right, stop. Time's oh, up. Guys, we gotta go roll again. We gotta roll again. Okay, well, now we gotta respin. Okay, spin, Chris. I, I spin first. Oh. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, you fix your face. Fix your face. Woo! Please give me something good. Oh, anything I want. Dang. Yes. No way. Yes, right. dude. Chris, what are you gonna get? No. Oh, little crowbar. crowbar. A little crowbar. Oh. It's over there. I'm gonna take this axe. I think this is gonna do some damage. Oh, yeah. This is doing a ton of damage. Uh, guys? What? How hey, did you do you that? got your phone. <laughs> Look, 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 easy. I took the bolt cutters to your weak little screw bolt thingies. My phone was already partially out, so I just grabbed it through the bubble wrap. Rob, you get two Shoot. points because you got your phone and you were first. Dude, that feels good. I'm gonna go over and see how Jeff does because so that means I built. that my box is the weakest. <laughs> Rob, is your phone messed up? So it was already cracked, but it cracked a little more here. My phone's been beat up. I feel like I'm almost through. You feel like a lumberjack? Yeah. I gotta keep hitting in that Whoa. one crack. I'm so tired though. Uh, well, time's up. Really? Yeah. Jeff, you seem to be out of breath here. Seven. What kind of weapon are you looking for? I here? want the little axe, if I'm honest. Oh, oh little axe! Heck. Heck yes, dude. This is perfect because I can hit hard and also be accurate. Machete! machete. Dude, that's stupid. The machete is so flimsy. Show him the machete. All right, I gotta go. Just play that like that flimsy sound like. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's so light. Wait. I feel like Robert now. It's almost open. Look at this big hole, Ryan. Look at this big hole I made. I just gotta make it a little bigger. You know what? I give up with this stupid. Now Chris is rendered useless and Jeffrey has the advantage. The weapon that I need is the mallet because it's small. I can target whatever I want. I'm not gonna break my phone. So hopefully I get that one. I made a crack all the way through the side. I see something to smash it open. Time to respin. <sighs> Let's go to the board. Jeff, are you getting serious? Getting is the serious. Hulk getting fired up inside your heart? Getting fired up. Pickaxe! Okay, dude, that's actually really good. I think I'm gonna be able to get out right now. If I get the pry bar, I might be able to get out too. Don't uh -oh. get the pry bar, don't get the pry bar. Machete. Machete! <laughs> Dang! Will Jeff be able to break out of my box right. this round? Back to this again. Oh, oh! That's a lot of damage right there. I just need to do, I have an idea. I need something to prevent it from moving Jeff. upwards. I think Jeff got the pickaxe stuck. Did Jeff get the, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff. Come on! Dude, I heard your phone bounce around in there, bro. Axe throw more like machete throw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm there surprised, go. Rob. Your box is really strong. You got one more minute. Oh, dude, I'm really widening this crack. I'm tired, guys. Give this video a like for encouragement to Jeff. Why not encouragement to me? Because you suck. Oh! Dang, dude. Oh. <laughs> I can see my phone. There it is. Does it look okay? Yeah, it looks fine. Time's up. I need big crowbar. Come on, purple. Guys, I'm exhausted. Purple. purple, purple. Machete. All right, heck this. 
Pick whatever you want. Oh, really? <laughs> dude, you better go quick. Wait, dude, where's the big crowbar? It's over there. Shoot. Oh, dude, just shoot on the floor. Come on. It's a race against the time. Come on, the screws are coming up. Oh. oh. Jeff might have just got it. Jeff might have just got it. Come on. The stupid axe and stuff, bro. Oh, I know what to do. Dude, this is crazy, bro. I Sorry. got the axe out. Well, Jeff be able to grab his phone. There's one piece of wood in the way, but I think he can get it out of the way. Yes, I got it. Oh, he got no. it. I got my phone. I'm pretty sure it's completely unharmed. Oh yeah, it's perfectly fine. Dude, Chris is the loser. Hey guys, I built a new apocalypse weapon. I officially it's going in the dumpster. I'm going to reward myself oh, by jumping, jumping in the pool. Dude, just go in the pool. It's so hot. Yippee! Guys, so that means my box is the strongest, most unbreakable. I think we actually successfully created an unbreakable box, so. Game's over, bro. Let it go. Game is over. Chris, give up. <sighs> this is being tossed in the trailer. It's over, bro. Uh -huh. We gotta have a ceremony. We need a funeral. Hey guys, that felt really good. Victory feels sweet. Well, Jeff, it's not quite victory because I won. Bro, Jeff, I'm open. just glad I got my phone. Because this is the ultimate punishment right now. I hereby decree Chris's phone is banished to the, to the chamber. Robert, it's been a video. Jeffrey, it's Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of our content, just subscribe, like the video, comment on it, show your grandma, show your dog that died yesterday. Show your click newborn here. grandson. For the video that YouTube recommends, click here for the video to the previous video. Click the no subscribe. We'll see you later. One like, one respect for Chris's 